working on the boat since June of this summer, 2022. It's mid-September now. As hard as I worked, I still wasn't able to make it ready for the ocean or even for sea trials. So I'll just show you the progress I've made so far. Got the mast in. This is goop. I'm hoping that that turns out to be a good sealant. We'll see. This is a very rainy area, so that should be a good test for it. This trash can I used to test out the outboard motors that I had purchased. These that run almost the full length of the boat are going to be the battens for the sail. I'm going to cut them to size. I don't think they need to be this big. But I lucked out and I found these in the desert, believe it or not, just walking on a dirt road, and they were free. So I've got all my battens for free except for the aluminum tubing that I used to connect them. That wasn't much. Here are the outboard motors. This one is from Canada. I got it for 250 bucks. I had to take the power head off to clear the water passage of an obstruction. It was some melted rubber inside there. And after that, it worked great. I also rebuilt the carburetor just because why not? This one worked from the get-go. I did replace the impeller just to make sure. I also replaced the impeller in this one. Um, it doesn't run great. I think it needs a diaphragm, but it does run. I'll deal with that later. This is half of the shower. It's halfway done. It works. I was trying to get out on the water as fast as possible, so I only made what was necessary. Here's the mast stepped. This wire is just a bunch of speaker wire. It goes up to the light on the top of the mast. And yes, the light works. These are what I'm using to brace the mast inside of the hole that it goes through. Electric outboard motor that I built. I converted a bicycle electric motor just because I happen to have it. This used to be just a flat piece of steel. I think it's a uh, 16th of an inch. I don't think I could bend 1 8th. So I did the cutting and then just bent it myself, and it works great. I'll show you that later. I only go a couple miles an hour in it, but that's enough. This is the thrust bearing. It's just a bunch of plastic with some grease inside, and there's a ring around the propeller shaft that takes the load. You can't put load sideways on this unit. So you need that thrust bearing. And that's it. Haven't even installed the rudder yet. The propeller is on, but I have not made the protection for it yet. I'm going to get a tube, cut it to size, and weld it on. And then here's the keel, still waiting to be put on. But I've got the rudder attachment bolted on, this piece is bolted on to this piece. Everything's ready to go and I'm just going to use the yard's uh, crane to lift the boat and their forklift to move this around. I'm not going to move it myself. I did put the mast up by myself. It only took eight hours to do it, which for me is pretty fast. So as hard as I worked to try to get it in the water and as confident as I was that I would make it, I still didn't, but that's how boat work goes. It always takes me 10 times longer than I think, and while I'm working, I find other stuff that needs to be done before something else can get done. You know how it goes if you work on these sort of things. So, I'll see you next summer. I hope to launch next summer. There's not much left to do, so I feel pretty confident. <laughs>